good morning. Good morning, everybody. How are you? I am just <sighs> going to flip this Facebook Live around. I um, can see I'm back to front already. And I know you guys do not like it when I'm back to front. So I'm going to flip now. There we are. I am facing the right way. Gosh, I will be well wrapped when Facebook fix this situation for me. How are you all? Good morning, Linda. How are you? Morning, T. How are you? I don't know. Didn't know if anyone would actually watch today because it's Thursday. It's not Facebook Friday. It's Facebook Thursday. I'm a day early. I'm so excited. I couldn't wait. <laughs> um, actually, we're, um, we're off for my dad's 80th birthday on the weekend tomorrow so but I didn't want to miss out on another Friday because I think I've missed like four is that right four or three anyway a lot too many and um, I've forgotten how to do it <laughs> so I'm kind of a bit I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes today um, all right so I'm just gonna get I'm just going this way and I'm going to get you guys on my screen for my laptop so I can make sure that I am in the right place and when you come on in say hello tell me that you're there tell me what you're doing tell me where you're watching from see what's happening I want to know what's going on in your part of the world today it is um, good evening from the States. Hey, April. How are you? Hey, Lynn. How are you this morning? Um, it is, it's the end of our spring. And so it should be really beautiful and warm. Good morning, Sherry. How are you? Um, but it is raining. Stop raining. I'm sick of the rain. I'm ready for beautiful weather. Good morning, Laura. How are you this morning? You're in Melbourne, Lynn, and it's and it's beautiful rain. <laughs> Do you need it for the garden, Lynn? Is that why you think it's beautiful? I um, I need to put a new roof on my house soon. And um, so I, I would like the rain to go away. It's, there's no holes yet, but it's interesting. Good morning, Christy. Hello. You're. At, what are you saying? You're looking forward to exciting news from on stage. Um... Oh, you've got an unwell three-year-old. That's no good. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning from Melbourne. You've got your coffee. You're ready to craft. You never seem to catch me live. Oh, that's why I'm on a different day today, April. So that's why maybe um, you're seeing me live. Um, hey, Tracy. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it's refreshing. Well, yes, it is refreshing, the rain. But I want it to stop because I like it to be summery. But um, anyways, that's that's just the way it goes. We need rain, I suppose. You know, all that stuff. Farmers, stuff I don't understand. Thank you for tuning in and watching my Facebook Live this morning. I'm pretty excited that I've got some people watching because this is not my normal day. Um, and um, mind you, like if so many people watch on Thursday, then it's like maybe should I move it to Thursdays? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me if which which day of the week. This is a good question. This is a good time to find out what people want. What day of the week do you want to watch me make cards? Good morning, Sandy. First time watching me. Thank you for joining me. I'm um, always excited for new people to say hello. Hey, Tony. Oh, the beautiful Tony. And how is everything in your part of the world? It is hopefully, what. well, it's always beautiful in your part of the world, isn't it? Unless there's a hurricane or something. But otherwise, it is always beautiful in your time, of, in your place in the world. I've been there. It's fabulous. It's lovely. So I've got some lovely things to share with you. The first thing, if anyone knows me, you know I love coffee right that is um that is an understatement my children know that they come first my husband comes first and then it's coffee and chocolate is is that not unreasonable um and stampin up 
gave us a coffee mug at on stage. So if anyone um, is not familiar with the on stage phenomenon, it is a demonstrator event, which sounds really snoozy, but it's actually really fun. Um, that Stampin' Up! have twice a year. We've got one in April and one in November. Um, and it is, we, what do we do at On Stage? We see demonstrations of other, like, lovely demonstrators sharing their knowledge and their beautiful um, expertise. We see new products, and I've got something really exciting to tell you guys. I can almost not contain myself. But anyways, just wait one minute, one minute. Um, we see new products and we see the new catalogs. Ooh, catalogs, catalogs. We see, we get them in our hot hands first so we can make sure that you guys are totally up to date and we start making samples and we get bags. All right, I'm gonna show you the bag. So this is the, the bag. You can't see me because it's got like a it's like a mailman kind of bag and it's got little pockets to put your catalogs and it's got pretty pictures on it and it's got lots of pockets and you know you know what crafters need they need pockets because we need all that stuff so I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of some of the stuff I got I've got the mug in the bag which was awesome let me just show you. A little bit of the mug so it's this pretty thing with have you seen this Stampin' Up's changed their logo just a teeny tiny bit so um, hey Nicole you just here for not long because you got to take the kiddos to school well the kiddos don't need to go to school do they yeah. <laughs> um, and then on the back let me see if I could not spill my coffee because it's full with coffee there's a beautiful um, Calypso coral on the back I know the mug is so good, and you know what? I'm worried, um, Nicole, that I'm gonna like I'm gonna break my mug, and then what do I do? If you ever come around to my house and you see me crying on the floor with a mug that's broken, that's because I spilt and broke my coffee mug from stamping up. Um, I think they're gonna be like on the yes. I think they are going to be like you know big black market mugs out there on eBay. Don't, don't leave me now, people, because you've got to check on eBay already to see whether someone's selling a mug. It's going to like be a $100 mug. Anyways, you get this bag. And then throughout the day, we got heaps of cool stuff. We got like a little, it's the 30th anniversary of Stampin' Up. So we got like a little other little bag that we got as well. We got this fabulous um, Stampin' Up diary, which is pretty cool. So if you're a demo or if you're a hobbyist, you can plan out your attack with this um, calendar and diary. Uh, what else do we get? I've got some cool little pens like that with Stampin' Art written on them. And they're pretty, they're pretty. And they're all, you know, all the colors kind of blend and stuff. You love yours, Vicky. Oh yes, blah, blah, blah. And then you got stuff. So the the Stampin' Up! event, it, we pay to go to this event, but I tell you what, it is the best value for money because it, um, hey Rose, how are you? You um, you not only get like a stack of stuff that I've just shown you, but then throughout the day you get stamp sets, stamp sets. You know, the, the amount of stamp sets that I got, I'm sure would have totally covered the cost of the event plus I got lunch plus I got demonstrations plus I got fabulous um, business talks if you're into the business side of it although that's not all of it plus we made four cards there as well in brand new products so which means I'm gonna start stamping really soon with that new stuff I also got a few little bits and bobs too at the end of the day all the bits that are left on the table that we've used to make our um, to make our make and takes with, we got to pass around and keep with all the people on the table, which was awesome. The other thing that I got, and this is weird, I'm going to show you my t-shirt, um, but this, so um, it's not a, I don't want to poke out the girls too much, but um, this t-shirt is pretty cool. It's, <laughs> it's 
um, the leadership, the t-shirt we got from leadership. So, and I'm wearing it with my Midnight Inklings scarf today. My Midnight Inklings are my team of demonstrators and we had a bunch attend um, on stage in Melbourne and a couple up in Gold Coast as well. And I was super excited for them to join me. A lot of first timers this year and I think they had a good time. I hope so. So couple of little bits of news that I want to share with you and I hope you don't mind me taking this space. Um, I won't take long, just a little bit of bragging from Carolyn. I'll try not to be too boastful. Um, but I did, I had some awards this year and it's the first time I've ever come close to having um, this kind of recognition in Stampin' Up! So um, I wanted to first of all thank my beautiful customers for supporting me this last year and my team because without um, you guys it, it just won't happen. I can't do this online business of mine. I can't do this stay at home business where I shoot off at two o'clock and pick up my kids and um, get to take them to school and all that kind of stuff. So I want to say a massive thank you for supporting me. I've got lots of ideas of where I want to take my business in the next year and I'm really excited. Um, perhaps you might want to come along for the ride with me um, or at least cheer me on every now and again. So thank you for watching. But so I wanted to show you a little of what happened to me at on stage this year so I'll um, not bore you with the details but you get these ribbons when you achieve some um, good results in Stampin' Up! Um, so I've, I've earned the Alaskan cruise which is so excited taking my boys or my men with me to Alaska and we're going to do Disneyland too um, so that's achieving the flex points but my my two really um, big ones was uh, that I was a top top five in Australia in recruiting which means that I've welcomed a bunch of new lovely stampers into my team this last year and I'm so excited to have them with me I love my girls and I'm looking for a male stamper. So if you're a male stamper out there, please join the Midnight Inklings. I'm so open arms to have you guys. We had, I think, maybe three or four male stampers join us in Melbourne. And I'm so excited to have all the genders in my team. Um, so top five in recruiting. I'm loving my new people. I'm loving my already my existing team. We're growing at a rate of knots and it's exciting. I'm really excited. Um, and this one was really the big one. So I ranked in the top 10 demonstrators in Australia. Woohoo! Yay! It's like wildest dreams. That has, didn't even, I was so surprised you could have knocked me down with a feather. I I think my, my mouth was open the whole time I walked across the stage. It's just like that kind of thing going on. So it may never happen again. I may never achieve that again. I hope I do, but I may never. So I'm just enjoying the moment and I hope you guys don't mind me enjoying the moment with you this morning. So I ranked number seven in Australia and that's a lot to do with um, you guys and my beautiful team. So thank you so very much. Okay, so let's move on from that's enough about me, now about you guys. So. What I want to tell you about is the most insanely exciting tool that Stampin' Up! has ever brought out. Um, it is called, I keep calling it something else, but I can't anymore. I need to get this right. It's called the Stamparatus. Stamparatus. I call it the Stamposaurus, the Stampinator, but it's not those. It's the Stamparatus. So it is a stamping positioning tool. And if you have a rattle around on my Facebook page after this Facebook Live is finished, you're going to see a video that I've posted already. You are going to see um, a, a GIF that I've put up that shows like different ways of stamping. But what is it, Carolyn? What are you rattling on about? It is a tool that you can... It helps you position your stamps, basically. It helps you position your stamps so you can just stamp multiples over and over again without having to line things up a second time. You can do 
two step stamping, three step stamping, four step stamping super easily. It is going to rock your stamping world. It has rocked our stamping world. And um, Stampin' Up! have decided to do something a little bit different than they have ever done before. And we are having a complete pre order, a customer pre order period for this Stamper Artist and a demonstrator pre order period. So, um, if you're a demonstrator, you can order three, which is awesome because I want one for this desk, I want one for that desk, I want one for my classes, I want, I want all more. So um, I can order three and any demonstrators can order three. If you choose to join up Stampin' Up! and please join up under me, I'd love you to come and join the rest of the Midnight Inklings team. Um, and you can then pre-order three. Three. If you're a customer, you can pre-order one and you can start doing that from um, 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time. How, Carolyn, can you do it? Let me tell you. So what you'll need to do is go to my blog, carolynbenny.com, and you will be able to go up to the shopping shop now button up the top of my page or on the side of my page or sometimes in my posts it's kind of everywhere you'll find it go to the shop now if you are already an existing customer of mine cool bananas you'll be rocking it it'll just you'll find like a button somewhere it'll be like a big post don't worry you won't miss it stampin up have got this covered so and it will say reserve your stamparatas now why do you need to reserve it what's the big deal about reserving it well Stampin' Up! want to make sure that they make enough because we don't want to be overwhelmed and not have enough. So what they're going to do is you're going to reserve your Stamparatas between the 17th, which is tomorrow, and the 30th of November. That's like a one period that you can reserve it in. While stocks last, apparently, so I'd get in fast. I'd do it tomorrow. I'm doing mine tomorrow. And then those Stamparatas will be delivered as of the 1st of February. But the good thing is you don't need to pay for it until it's ready to be delivered to you. So when you go in tomorrow and you reserve it, all you're doing is say, hey, I want one. Make sure you let me know when they're there. So that's really cool. So if you have not been a customer of mine up until now, and please choose me as your demonstrator. I'm really excited for that to happen. Um, that's okay. You just still need to go to carolynbetty.com. And I froze and I will come back. Oh, I hope I come back for you, April. After Go to carolynbenny.com and you just need to still go to the online shop and you need to create your own customer profile. It won't take you long. It's just about plugging in your name and your details and setting up your customer profile. Once you've done that, you'll then be able to reserve your Stamper Artists. And Stampin' Up! are going to send you a message when it is available, but it won't be until the 1st of Feb. That's actually pretty cool for me because Christmas time can be a bit nuts so anyway financially. So the fact that you can reserve it now and pay for it later, awesome. Then we're going to have two more pre-order periods later on. There's going to be one in December and one in January and they'll roll those Stamparatuses out um, in March and in April. So you will, get, if you can't do it straight away, that's okay. You will get there. But if you're like me, and you watch that video that I've got on my Facebook page and you fall in love, you'll want it soon. So I totally suggest that you get onto that tomorrow. Don't panic. I'm going to blog about it. I'm going to put my, um, uh, my, on my newsletter. If you're not part of my newsletter group, make sure you go to my blog and join that too. So you will want to be on board with Stamparatus. It's super, super cool. The other thing I've got to tell you about is we are starting on the 20th of November with a flash sale, the um, online extravaganza, which is pretty cool. We have got stamps that are going to be reduced in the 24-hour flash sale on the 20th of November. So you're going to want to go to my online shop then. It's 24 hours while stocks last. So these stamp sets are awesome. They're in the current catalogues. It's not old stuff. It is current that is being reduced, which Stampin' Up! rarely do. So you want to make sure that you um, pick up any stamp sets that you want out of the current catalogs at reduced price. 
There's also going to be lots of other offerings and they're going to be updated as the weeks uh, the week goes on. It's between the 20th and the 26th. So make sure that you, um, you're all over that. I'm trying to think of an analogy. What, what can you be all over? Like a Australian slang. All over it like a... I can't think. What is it? Anyway, don't worry. We're moving on. So um, the other thing, one last thing that I'm super excited about is my beautiful team got some lovely um, recognition over the weekend and I'm really, really excited for them. There's some great things happening with those girls there. Not all of my team are business demonstrators. Good morning, Julia. How are you, sweet? Not all of my team are business demonstrators. We've got lots of um, girls that are their own best customer and love getting that 20 or 25% discount. But um, I've got a, a, a number of girls that do classes or um, that do parties, work um, in that way as well. And the beautiful Shani Haynes, who is in my team, did a fabulous presentation at on, on stage last weekend. I just want to give her a little shout out and a clap because it was fabulous. It's so brave getting up on stage in front of a bunch of people and um, and doing that kind of thing. So she's really, that's really wonderful. So go Shani, yay. Now, question time. This is, you might not want to, if you want to tell me in the comments, please do. Otherwise, send me a message if you're a bit shy. But I'm thinking of doing some online classes. Is that something that interests you? So um, let me know if that would be something that you would like to do with me. So um, so purchasing products and getting a, a getting free class. I can do some videos for you. I've got my head swimming with some ideas. And I'm thinking that blends might be something that we need to do some classes on. That might be fun. I'm also can throw in some extra freebie products and, you know, like mix it up. Linda, you think that's a good idea? Oh, I'm pleased. So I'm going to flesh that out considering whether I get some interest um, and um, we'll see where we go with that. But I think it might be fun to kind of do some more videos for you all. So let's, um, let's think about doing something like that. Okay, so I think it is time to get stamping. So um, talking about blends, let's do it. We do we know? Do we all know about blends? So stamp and blends are the new alcohol markers that Stampin' Up have brought out really recently. Only like only the first of November, so it's really recent. But um, with all the excitement over the last week, it's kind of been like, oh, we've got now we've got Stamparatus, and now we've got new catalogue. It's kind of easy to forget that we've got this fabulous new product, Stamp and Blends. So today I thought I did another video. I think my last video was on Stamp and Blends, and I'll link to that in my blog post today as well so you can catch up with that video if you have not seen it. Is my is it I can see that it's the coverage is look fabulous. I'm gonna open the door because sometimes that can help with sometimes for some reason my Wi-Fi likes it when I open the door. You would think that with technology a door would not be enough to stop Wi-Fi. But anyways, I hope that helps with, um, with, I can see it's a little bit speckly today. Anyways, blends. I thought I'd show another technique that you can do with your stamp and alcohol blend markers today. And it's not a colouring technique, which is pretty cool. Yay, finally back. I opened the door, April. That's all I had to do. <laughs> I locked you out. <laughs> um, Okay, stupid Wi-Fi, but um, I opened the door and now hopefully it's a little bit better. But um, so stamp and blends are fantastic. If you do not know about stamp and blends, then you've got to check it out. Suddenly I've got 20 people watching. <sighs> okay, Wi-Fi, crazy. Okay, so with my Stampin' Blends, what you need to know is you can purchase them individually which is awesome. The reason why it's awesome is because they come in um, two colours. So you've got like a, so for instance, Daffodil Delight, you get two shades of Daffodil Delight. You get two shades of 
um, Night of Navy. You get two shades of, it goes, right, so you get two shades. But you tend to do the darker colouring and then you go over it with the lighter colouring. And then sometimes you do more lighter colouring for some reason. So perhaps you're going to use out the lighter ones before use out. English. It is my first language. You would you would wonder sometimes. But um, you're going to use up one colour before the other. So they're not sold in packs. They're sold individually. Awesome. So that's great. They're $7.75 each. So you can replace them when you use them up. You can also buy a combo pack of, um, I think it's two, which is um, $15.50. But if you're like me, you're going to want them all. So um, you can get the whole collection for $209.95 here in Australia. If you're going to do that, why don't you consider joining my team? The joining kit costs $169, but you get $235 worth of product that you can choose to put in the joining kit. So it's a great discount. Um, so you can actually get the whole blend collection plus, you know, a stamp set or something as well. So, I mean, that's a really great deal. Then after that, all of your ongoing products are 20% off or 25% off when you um, have your first title promotion and stamping up. So it's a really um, great way of being able to get a bunch for even a better discount than, than what they are. So we're going to play with the blends today. We're also going to play with... Um, this fabulous stamp set called Crafting Forever. And it was uh, one of my first stamp sets I got in the um, annual catalogue because it, because I'm a crafter. I mean, seriously, why wouldn't I have that? And a bunch of my friends are crafting friends. So it's a really cute stamp set to have. So those are the two things we're going to be playing with. So let me show you the card that we're going to. I'm going to flip you guys over. It can be... It can be interesting flipping, so bear with me as I flip it. I'm going to plug in my earbud so you guys can hear me, my dulcet tones. Actually, you know how you, you don't like to hear yourself talk? Well, anyways, you, you want to hear the instructions, so I better do that. So let me just, you can look at my t-shirt again while I turn you guys over. Um, do, do, do. Turn you over. And did anyone see my ridiculously messy desk yesterday? I put it up like a uh, on a Facebook post. I showed my desk. It's I'm not really what I would um, say a messy crafter. I'm I'm kind of middly, but it was insane, like nuts. So all right, I've got a flipper. I can I can feel people saying flip it. Ah, there we go. Okay. There we go. All right, let's have a little bow peep. Okay, awesome. You saw that rose? It was a bomb, wasn't it? Holy smokes. But it's better now. It's better. Okay, so I'm just plugging in my earbud. Make sure you tell me if there's issues. You loved seeing it. <laughs> oh, you like my card? Oh, yay. So let me show you this little process here so this is using this background is using the stamping blends and um i'm going to take that off no i'm going to put it back on okay there we are so it is using the stamping blends and look at my little pair of scissors you know what i love about these scissors they are actually a full blown copy of the stampin up scissors I love our artists that actually get it right. They're not just any scissors. They're Stampin' Up! scissors. So um, there's no end to my awesomeness. Oh, Tony, you. <laughs> you can come back every week, Tony. Okay, so let's just have a little bit of peep how I've done it. I've got some other ones to share with you. The background is what we're really focusing on today. And I've got some others to show. So this one's quite subtle. It's quite a subtle, um, you know, effect here. But I've got some that weren't so subtle. Check that one out. That is 
so bright and it really really caught so that one um, is awesome and then here I've got some others I stuck with my rainbow theme yesterday I was a bit inspired check that one out there it's got this interesting effect here and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit about that and that one there it almost looks like a border that effect which I kind of liked but I'll talk to you about how how that happened um, I've got to share that I am not a great fan of mess when I craft which is why I probably like to color and not do as many um, really bold techniques but we are we are in for some serious craziness today so bear with me while the desk gets very messy so I do need just to have a little bit of cup. Oh, look, it's a love heart. Oh, I, I made that for myself, so I'm not sure what that means. Sorry, I hope you didn't hear gulping noises, but that was really essential. So let's get crafting. So the what? The what? Oh, gosh. I'm glad you guys stick with me, even though I can't talk. So we are going to be using glossy white cardstock today. You can get that in the Stampin' Up! annual catalogue. It's a little hidden, um, so seek it out or check out my online shop. Uh, it's $12.25, you get 10 A4 sheets. I've cut this down into quarters, so that's a half of a sheet and then you've got another little bit, um, because I tend to use it for card fronts. You could use it for the whole card I suppose but I like it for card fronts and there's lots of fun techniques with that um, I'll link back to another fun technique I did a little earlier in the year as well with the um, glossy white card stock I'll do that on my blog later on today so make sure you go check out my blog and some other photos and and all the links for the Stamparadas and the uh, lovely great big extravaganza sale that we're going to be having as well so let me show you how you do this technique now I've seen it called a few different things different places but um, essentially you are going to be getting your sandwich bags that you send the kiddos off to school in or oh, you don't send them in a plastic bag Carolyn that's wrong you send their lunches in uh, you're going to be using one of these you're going to be using a stack of blends now like I said to you I'm sticking to the rainbow colors that is because they tend to work really well together and they don't the colors don't mush together and, and get really muddy so sometimes you just need to play around with colors blending together in this particular format because sometimes if you put two colors together that are not um, like in this order you they'll, you'll just get brown and brown you know I you know that I love brown brown's one of my favorites but um, it actually doesn't I don't like it so much in this particular technique so um, hey we've got Phyllis from Colorado how are you Phyllis welcome so it is so I'm gonna use the rainbow kind of colors today what else do I need you know what else I need I needed a whole bucket load of paper towel and I've got some baby wipes down here because you are gonna get messy it is not going to be your fingers are going to get messy your whole it's the whole kit and caboodle so the way I've gone about um, doing this wee technique is I get my stamping or get my little plastic lunch bag and then I line up my markers in the order that I want to do them so I've got um, dark cherry cobbler and I've got the dark calypso coral and then I'm going to go to yellow and then what did I do? I did Bermuda Bay. I know Bermuda Bay is not in the rainbow, but it was the best I could do. And then I've got Night of Navy, and then I've got Dark Rich Razzleberry. So I've got them all lined up because I just want to be able to go bam, bam, bam in order as I'm applying them. I've put one of my pieces of card stuff, I've actually got two here. I'm going to put one underneath just so I can see where I should be applying the color to on the sandwich bag or on the send your children to school in it bag which is a completely different use for it I suppose if you had very small children that would be okay no don't ever send your children in a plastic bag that's bad 
bad Carolyn. Okay, so we're going to use the other, the, the brush end. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply some color. And I love the red. Look at that. Check that out. Now I'm going to move swiftly. And I'm wondering why that one isn't wanting to stay put today. Why are you being tricky on my Facebook Live? Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, it stayed really put yesterday. Believe me. So now I've gone for the Calypso Coral. I've got the Daffodil Delight. And what else? What else? What else? I'm getting out of, out of whack here. And so this... Oh, yeah. So this um, was a little bit of a concern for me yesterday because I do, we are very big on recycling in my house and we try not to use plastic as much as possible. So I was a little bit worried about that. But actually the baby wipes cleaned the, um, the well actually, the yeah baby wipes, they cleaned up the bag quite well after I used it. So I suppose you could... Um, use it again in some format afterwards uh, you know pack up your craft stuff or something like that I just want to share that I didn't waste all of those bags and last one now you can actually dip into your colors a little bit here that's okay you just need to wipe it off afterwards of course I've got I'll just use it on my blotting paper here which is all good. Okay, so that kind of looks like a mess, doesn't it? Well, you know what? It is a mess. And I don't say I didn't warn you because you'll be getting messy now. All right, so I just want to make sure I've got all my bits and bobs in the right spot. So then the next thing that you're going to do is I've got this plastic sheet down. It's actually like from um, our Bunnings here in Australia. It's like the um, department... Uh, hardware shop you we put it on top of the barbecue if you don't if you want to be really clean when you barbecue um when you're cooking and it's really good for messy things like that because i'm going to be using our oh, let me show you what i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this isocol rubbing alcohol and i've got it in a dampen up spritzer so um it's going to get really messy and i found that when i used my grid paper even my you know seconds grid paper with it it just it just wasted so much grid paper so having it on this plastic um barbecue thing really helped so here i'm now going to spritz the isocol now i know some of you're going to go where did you get that rubbing alcohol from carolyn where did you get the isocol from i think i got it from my chemist um so check that out now i'm added like a bucket load and can you see how it's running let me because it i can see you guys are watching me but i can't see your comments anymore which is weird um okay now i can see the comments all right so let me see can you see how it is running it is running 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 all right and i can see where it all is because um the, the white underneath otherwise i'd be really really in trouble now I'm going to put my shiny side of my cardstock down on top just to get all of that blending together now can you see when I'm doing that that there's some of the the bleed from the alcohol is actually coming in this way now that's what caused let me show you on here that's what caused this effect let me show you again see how it's darker on the outside than it is on the inside that's because this happened now when I saw that I thought well you know what you could do I actually quite like it dark I like those dark bits so what if I wet the back of it what would happen then if I made the whole thing really drenched well it gets darker and it gets blotchier and it's awesome so that was pretty cool and 
really enjoy it. Like sometimes these happy accidents actually are a good thing. Now, don't freak out. This is when it's all going to get, we'll just move that white bit out of the way because I'll save that for another project. We're flipping. We're flipping people. All right, so I flipped it and I'm moving, I'm squishing, I'm blending these colours in together. And this is where, you know, it's messy. And let's see. <sighs> I've got my paper towel here. You can tell that I don't like mess, can't you? You saw it yesterday, Nicole, with medicines. Awesome. Don't, don't, um, I wonder what people, I suppose like if you've got an ouchie, you can use it. All right, here we go. Woohoo! There we are. That's the effect. Now, you, if you didn't have, you don't have to do rainbows. Um, you can do other uh, color coordinations. You can do all sorts of things. So don't, and I'm just going to blotch a little bit with my paper towel because it's a little bit muddy in places. There we are. Check it out. So that is, that's going to, when it um, dries, now you could just pop it aside, if you could lift it up. You could just pop it aside and let that dry it naturally. Or if you're impatient, you can get your heat gun out and dry it. But it's like some kind of, I mean, you could do colours like make some kind of cosmic um, out of space kind of colour thing with it. But it is just, it's pretty. Look at that. It is a, just rainbow happiness there. And when it dries, I'll show you again. I'm going to put this to one side because my, my hand is really wet with alcohol. And it's a little stinky. All right, I'm going to put it down. So let that dry. And let me show you again what the other ones. I haven't, like I'm not some crazy clean freak, but mess in my craft stuff does me in. So let's have a look at what they're going to look like. When it dries, it's going to look like those. So that's if you spritz it on the back and make it all soak in, that it comes in really dark. But if you don't, if you leave it lighter, then you'll see it, it lightens up quite a way with, um, with just applying to one side. It is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, you know what, this wasn't the, the, um, the, project I was planning on sharing today but you know it was a happy accident and so sometimes you have to go with that. Uh, Kerry's saying it's in the Isocol which is this one is in your supermarket with the first aid staff. So that is where you're going to be. I can just tell that after this Isocol stocks are going to be increasing exponentially. So let's pop that to one side now I've got let's finish off this project together hey so I'm just see I had this underneath my barbecue mat but the barbecue mat was pretty cool for um, actually taking photos of so it looked nice that black so let's just finish off this wee project I'm going to be finishing with the crafting forever because I thought that was kind of fun let's have a look at what we're doing so I've got some and you could do even you know I think that when it dries don't quote me on this but I'm thinking that maybe you could stamp directly onto your your piece of glossy white and you could actually color with your blends on it too but I'm not sure you know like the, it's alcohol and the isocol's alcohol, so it, I don't think it would damage your blends, but that might be something that you try and just then check out how your blends react. But I, um, I've just decided to do this kind of cute little effect with the scissors. So here is what I've, so, and that's my, I cut down my little piece as well, and I think that's so pretty. Oh, it's pretty. Anyways, so let's check out. I've got these cute little scissors. I just adore them and I've got a piece of the going basic grey going grey that's a that's what I that's what my husband's doing right now <laughs> even his dad said the other day Chris you're going grey I just can't believe it I still feel like we're 17 <sighs> anyways um, yes I've been with my husband since we were 17 we weren't married then but we met at school. We were high school sweethearts. 
So we've been together for, I don't know, 27 years or something crazy and married for 21 years. So we're still considering our options, but so far it's going okay. So here, and I've also got the Dark Smoky Sight uh, blend, and I'm going to use the bullet point end. So this is a little bit different. And all you, can, all you need to do is actually colour in those scissor handles and go all the way around, just plain, regular colouring. And it's going to bring them up a nice shade that's going to look exactly like our scissors that we our stampin up scissors and then after you do that you can take your stampin up scissors and cut them out i know i can hear the groans fussy cutting i know but it's okay you'll be okay you'll be able to fussy cut that after you fussy cut it it's going to look like this which is just adorable on so many levels it's um, now that you're going to wonder how I did the little inside bits, I actually used a blade, um, which I don't know, like a little um, crafting blade. I started it off and then I used my scissors to finish uh, cutting out those little circles. If they're a little bit like you haven't quite got the, the cutting perfect, it's okay because you can just use your marker to kind of colour up any bits that are standing out like so. Now you won't be able to see those scissors very well on my black backdrop. But here's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Have you seen the silicon rubber piece in the catalogue? A number of my um, ladies and have never come across it before and it's been there the whole time. Now I am going to, I've lost my catalogue so I can't tell you what page it's on, but as, a, as I said, go to my um, blog later on today and you'll see, I'll, I'll link it in there. It's really awesome for when you want to do some hot glue gunning or like in this situation, I want to put on my fine tip. I want to get this gloss all over my uh, little scissors. So I've got my little scissors I've cut out here. Let me just take you in. A little bit so you can see. Holy smokes, I'm on low battery already. What's going on? All right, hopefully my it'll last. I have to be quick. So I use my fine tip glue and I'm going to go all over my scissors with the fine tip glue. And it goes on in this kind of opaque fashion, but then it does um, dry clear with a gloss. So it's a really useful, oh gosh, doo, 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 going around. It's a really useful adhesive because you can use it for all sorts of little tiny bitty things as well as to use it for a gloss accent for your projects. The problem is, of course, like, you know, it like it's a glue, it's going to ooze a little. And sometimes if you had it sticking on your paper, you would then have it stuck to your paper, right? You wouldn't be able to use it on your project. But with the silicon mat, it doesn't stick. It just comes straight off. So it's a really cute and useful little tool, this silicon mat. Um, it's a Stampin' Up! silicon mat. It's tiny and it won't take up any room in your crafting cupboard, but super duper useful. So here's what the little scissors turn out like afterwards with the gloss on them super cute and glossy and they're going to stand out on your project a little bit more than if you just had left them in a plain plain color okay all right let's get be quick because i'm worried that my phone's gonna not um, suddenly um, stop stop working okay so i've got some thick cardstock here I've put the score line in already. This is a half sheet of A4 cardstock. So it's 14.8 um, one way and then I've scored at 10.5 centimetres that way. I'm going to pop on a piece of Bermuda Bay and I'm going to, I don't have my glue. Hang on a sec. You know I love my Tombow multi-adhesive glue 
for just about all my other gluing needs. So I always keep it in a pot and I take the lid off when I start crafting and then I just leave it in my cute little pot for the whole crafting time. That way when I want to use the glue, it is right there at the ready. I don't need to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and then a big blob. You can see that you do. This is after about five years. I've got a little bit of glue still just kind of like hooning in the bottom of the pot there. But I think that is a small price to pay for it not being a big splodge on your projects when you are crafting. I love my little pot. So I'm going to pop that off, off kilter like so. Pop that to one side. Then we've got our cute little piece that we've been playing with. I'm going to... Oh, coffee, it's calling me. I'm going to... Now here's a little trick that I did. I... I just did with my pencil. I wanted to work out where I was going to have my lines. And you can do that different every time. I just freehand drew it. So that's not, um, it's, you know, it, there's no rhyme or reason for it. You just do whatever lines you like. And then we're just going to do some little dot the dot lines so your scissors know where they should be trimming. It's just a cute idea, I think. And you could do this with any colour. I'm doing it with the dark um, copper. Oh, beg your pardon. Not dark copper. Dark, I've had a mental blank. Cherry cobbler. Oh, I could hear you guys calling from your seats. Caroline, it's cherry cobbler. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to go with that. But that was fun. And after it dries in just a second, you can use your little rubber to rub off any pencil lines if you think that's going to be an issue for you. Now let's actually cut some of it. Like so. That way your scissors are you know, looking like they're really doing the business, aren't they? So, and then I'm using my pencil just to fold that down a little bit. So it really gives the cutting impression. Then I've got a little bit of stamping to do. Not a lot of stamping today, is there? We're doing, and no big shotting. I, <laughs> no big shotting at all. I cannot believe I'm actually doing a card without getting Bertha out. She is really, really cross with me at the moment. Bertha is being relegated off to the... And we all miss Bertha. Everybody say hello to Bertha. Okay, so the new people here are thinking I'm nuts. Bertha is my big shot. And um, Bertha is a star of my Facebook Lives. So we all like to say hello. Hi, Bertha. We miss you. Next time, maybe, if you're good. So I'm now just going to punch that out. I've done the wear cut out to be friends because I thought that was funny with scissors. And I think it's a really cute one to give to a stamping friend as well. So we're cut out to be friends. Now I'm just going to position. I wasn't entirely happy, happy with my position last time, so I thought I might do something a little bit different this time. And go there we go that's better I like that yeah there we are so I got a little bit more excited about that and then I think it's really cute to finish with a a little love heart and if you do not have this punch you must get it because it is I've used it for so many things lately. It is the cookie cutter punch, but it is such a good punch. I love it. But here is this cute little adorable teeny tiny love heart that is on it. And I'm just going to use my fine tip glue pen to pop a little. This is the, where the fine tip glue pen just comes into its own because I'm going to be brave and not um, put the lid back on right this second. I'm a bit pedantic with putting the lid back on with it. Otherwise it does jam up. So I try and do that a lot. But 
look, a tiny little bit of glue exactly where I needed it to go. You see, that's where the fine tip glue, another fabulous use. And then I just wanted my little love heart to actually shine up a little bit more. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the gloss on top from that as well. So now we're almost there, people. And my phone, I hope, isn't hasn't run out yet. Okay, so dimensionals. You've got to use them. They're essential. We love them. They come in two sizes from Stampin' Up! now. You've got the mini or you've got the regular, which is this size here. And I think that is awesome. I, don't, I just need the regular size on this piece because it's a larger piece. But on these teeny tiny little bits, having the small one is great. So let's line that up. Fabulous. Then I've got my little scissors and they're going to be in there cutting. I'll pop a little bit of glue on the back there. Here we are, we are almost done. My little scissors and then we've got that light. So, but I wanted it just to stand out a little bit more and look a little bit ragged and, and like we're really cutting a piece of paper so I'm just going to bend up the edges a little bit and pop some dimensionals on the back. Oh the piece I cut this bit down to, I did write it on the back, was 8.5 centimetres by 13.2 so it's just a little piece there of the original um, alcohol marker plastic bag technique but we should probably find a better name for it than that but it is the sandwich bag an alcohol marker technique so let's it's the boring bit watching me take dimensionals off I'm sorry about that okay here we are there we go it's so cute and we're done. And now I fold this down. I tend to be a bit pedantic and do that at the last. All right, bone folder. You've got to come out. There we are. So now we've got both of them. What do you think? Do you like? I think it's cute. It's a cute little technique. And like I said, I think you can get to come up with lots of great ideas of ways that you can use these fun colors and also different color combinations as well. I can imagine, you know, like a sandy, um, a sandy beach. You could do like a sandy beach effect. You could stamp over the top of it. Um, yeah, lots of different things. Move you guys. And one last look, say goodbye to the pretty things. Okay, so let's this Oh, there's my hand. I'm never going to get better at that. I apologise. Ah, look, I've got my earbuds still in. <laughs> All right, my lovely people, thank you for staying with me. I know this was a long one. I don't know how long, but I know it was a long one. Um, and um, so last thing is, that was, that was a super close Carolyn up there. These catalogues are going to be available for you to get your hot hands on really soon. If you um, would like me to send you one of these catalogues, just uh, private message me and um, tell me what your postal address is. I'll make sure I order lots. That's if you are my current customer or if you would like to be my customer here in Australia. I hope that you enjoyed my Facebook Live this morning. I'm really happy to be back. I've had lots of, you know, things that have stopped me and I'm excited to be back next week. I will be back on Friday. So I hope you can join me then. And until then, have a fabulous rest of your week and weekend and I will see you again really soon. Bye.